Hi, welcome to our midday prayer. It's time for us to stop whatever we're doing. Pause. This will just be about 10 minutes and let's pray together. The Bible says that if we agree about anything on earth, it will be granted by our Father in heaven. It was Jesus who said that. And it's not as if we're praying for things selfishly. In fact, we're praying for the government today. So whatever we will be praying for, we know and we believe that it is according to the will of God. Before we dive into our prayer, let me exhort you uh, about a verse that Paul has uh, written to the church in Rome. Romans 16, and we'll read verse 27. To the only wise God be glory forevermore through Jesus Christ. Amen. Paul says that he is the only wise God. That's why we ascribe glory to him forevermore through Jesus Christ. You know, let me talk to you about God's rationality. I know it's a big word, but simply said, it means that God has perfect reasoning and perfect understanding because He is the only one who's wise. So what does this mean for you and me today? First, it's about reverence. We revere God. We ascribe our praises to Him. We devote praises to Him. This is the same reason why every time we start our service, we started by singing songs, uh, declaring our praises and worship to Him for who He is and what He has done. It is the same reason why when Jesus taught us how to pray, He first taught us to praise our God. So yes, let us revere God in words and in action. It's about reverence and because God has perfect reasoning and understanding, it means that we should trust Him. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 verse 5, Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. It means that we trust God's Word for everything, for our plans, actions, decisions. Our convictions should be anchored in the Word of God. So when we read it, we read God's Word. Let's trust Him by trusting His Word. Last but not the least, it's about adherence. Yes, we revere Him, we trust Him, but we adhere to Him. We just don't simply do lip service to God, but we do what He wants us to do. Amen? Lord, we pray that You, do, Lord, we declare our praises and worship unto You. You are the only one who has perfect reason and perfect understanding. So God, we pray that you would give us wisdom to know what to do as well. Wisdom, faith, boldness to obey your word, to adhere to it. Lord, the, the, the courage to always trust you with all our heart, leaning not on our own understanding, knowing that our hearts are deceitful above all else. Lord, let your word that was preached be planted deeply in our hearts and let it bear fruit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now it's time to pray. We will pray for three items. Specifically, it's about our government. First prayer item, let's pray for our president and for the entire government force as they plan and strategize everything to help us, the Filipino people, combat this pandemic. Now, if you have people with you, why don't you invite them to pray with you? Let's pray for each other. Start praying now.
Let us pray. God, you are rational, perfect rationality. You're perfect in wisdom, perfect in understanding. So we pray that you would grant our president wisdom coming from your spirit, Lord God. The entire government force, Lord God, from the executive, legislative, and judiciary department, Lord God. We pray that you would give them wisdom, grace, and strength to be able to lead us on, Lord God. And we pray, Lord, for our government officials that they would know you, know you more, Lord God, and that they would give their lives to you. Give them strength as well. Protect them. Protect their health, Lord God, even their families. All these things we ask in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, let's pray for our economy. You know, financial experts are saying that this would take about two, three years. But let's pray that our economy would recover at a much faster pace than what the economists, financial experts, heads of states are saying, business leaders, what they're saying. So again, if you have people with you, let us pray now. I'll give you about a minute to pray. Pray now. Lord, we pray for the economy of the Philippines. We know what the experts are saying, but God, you are God of all. We pray for a miracle in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we do what we're supposed to do, as the government are taking pains, Lord God, to plan, strategize everything, as the business sector, Lord God, just journey through this crisis, God, we pray that you would bless all our efforts. We pray for a miracle of economic recovery in the name of Jesus. We pray for trade, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for wisdom, Lord God, for the business people, the workers, Lord God. And Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that your grace is upon the Philippines and we declare you, Lord, over our nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Last. Let's pray for our provision and our protection. Protection of not just us, our families, our loved ones. Protection of our friends, acquaintances, our co-workers, colleagues, and uh, the whole church. So I'll give you about 30 seconds to pray. Pray with the people around you right now. Let's pray now. Lord, you are God over all. You are unique, transcendent, mighty, powerful, loving, and caring. And so, God, we pray, Lord, for your continued provision for all of us. Lord, for those of us who have not, who don't have work, those of us whose businesses are on the brink of collapsing, those of us, Lord God, who are thinking of ways on how to to survive, Lord, we pray that we will not just survive this crisis, but even thrive in it. We pray that you would give us wisdom to know what to do. And Lord, we trust in your provision. God, we move in faith, believing you for things, but we also are in faith that whatever you have provided, even now, 
no matter how seemingly small or insufficient it may be for some of us, Lord, we pray that it will work, that we would be able to do what you've called us to do, and it is sufficient for this season, Lord God. And God, we pray for our protection, all of us, Lord, our families, our friends, acquaintances, colleagues, Lord, the whole church, Lord. We pray that you would protect all of us from the virus, Lord God. And God, we know that as your children, you are one who protects and loves and cares for your people. God, again, we give you glory, honor, and praise, Lord. You are Lord over our nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was a good time of prayer. Thank you again for stopping, for pausing, and for praying with us. Allow me to just speak a prayer of blessing for all of us. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. Amen.